What's up everybody? This is Anthony with Granddaddy Herbs here. Um, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a few shout outs and then what else I'm going to do is um, I'm going to start kind of like a series on, on the ball pythons that I have. It's going to call it's going to be called uh, Meet Meet the Snake versus Meet the Breeder. I'm going to tell you um, why I got, you know, why I got this animal, how I got this animal and what my plans are with this animal. Um, you know, everybody does the meet the breeder, which is cool. It's very interesting. I love it, no doubt. But nobody really talks, talks about why they got their animals or anything like that. So the star of today is going to be my female pastel, just a regular pastel. Um, you can see her. Let's, let's get a good shot at her, you know, since she's going to be the star of this video and everything. You can't really see the blushing on her head right now. Uh, she's trying to fight back. She's getting strong. She's about 450 grams now. Um, if you see the videos, the early videos I have after I found her, after she had escaped for a month, she got, she was only 240 grams. And this is maybe like two months later, a month and a half, two months later, I don't know exactly off the top of my head. Um, but basically how I got her was on San Diego Craigslist, um, which is rare because they usually don't show, you know, not too many people around here have like a good selection of animals, um. You know, you might find pastels, you know, and spiders pretty often, yes. But other morphs, you really don't find them. And how I got this girl was, um, this girl's in the military, and she's breeding, uh, breeding snakes. And, um, and basically, she posted her for 175 or trade for um, feeders. Because I guess she probably didn't have a good source of, of live feeders or feeders in general for, uh, for her snakes. And so the trade was either 175 cash or um, 40 adult mice. And those of you who live down here in, in San Diego, you can find adult mice for about a buck at most reptile stores other than Petco. And I think because she was in the military, she wasn't from the area, she doesn't know, you know that triple L rep reptiles are down here or prehistoric pets or any of the, like, these big, big name you know, reptile stores that sell them for a buck. So what I did was, I was like, I'll trade you 40 adult mice. So what I did was I ran a triple L reptile for 45 bucks. I got 40 adult mice that was with taxes. And the cool thing about triple L reptiles for every 10 mice or every, I think it's 20 crickets or so, you, you get like this little card. And for every 10, you get two free. And so I also wrapped up with that 40, I think it was like, four to ten adult mice for free or so. My math's probably way off. I mean, I'm sure it's way off. But I also got, you know, some free for the future. So, I mean, I paid 45 bucks, traded for her as a baby. She weighed only probably, I think it was like 75 grams or so. Um, I got her and I got, you know, some feeders out of it. So, I mean, talk about a come up. Um, and my future plans for her is I have the male bumblebee and I'll show him later in another episode and how I got him. She was probably my fourth ball python that I got. Third or fourth, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, my plan is to breed her to the bumblebee. And of course, I'm going for the killer bees. That's that's my main goal. Um, I might have some long-term goals with her. I don't know. Um, I should be getting a female firefly from Reptile Nexus, so I might not have this girl for too long, even though she's my baby. She's my, my number two favorite behind the bumblebee, and I would say my number one favorite female. So it would be hard to let her go if I let her go. Or, since she's a female, I might just hold on to her and just keep breeding her over and over again. You know, with other combos and stuff. Because, you know, I'd rather keep her and get rid of the adult normals in the future. You know what I mean? Um, so just, I mean, basic plans for her is to breed her to the bumblebee, get killer bees. And I do like super pastels also. Um, I'm sure all you guys know the combos in between and all that. You know, the bumblebee, spider, regular pastel, normal. Um... I do have a lesser male. I'm debating it. Um, debating if I should save him um, for the firefly eventually. But who knows? You know, I might end up breeding the male lesser to her. Um, but that's just my most basic plan. And then hopefully in the in the future, you know, when when I get my my clowns from my head clown combos that I have, um, possibly make pastel clowns and I don't know you know but just near future plans is just to get her up to size for hopefully late 2013 early 2014 to be ready for the bumblebee um, so that's basically the meet meet the 
the ball python in this video. Um, you know, not really too much more I can say other than that. I mean, she's good, 450 grams, she's well on her way. When you hit that 400 gram mark, I mean, they're just going to gain 100 grams after 100 grams after 100 grams within two feedings, you know what I mean? They just get huge. <clears throat> so, you know, also tell me how, tell me how you guys like the intro. This is going to be the first video with the intro. Um, you know, I noticed, you know, I've always wanted to do an intro. I've just been too lazy to take the time to do it. Mine's very simple. I know it's nothing too spectacular, but just let me know if you dig it or whatnot and the music in it. Um, just going to do two shout outs. Um, one to um, Juggernaut Reptiles. Check out his channel. I mean, this guy, I mean, he's really cool. He's got a lot of the things that I want to do. So that's why I watch him is because he's got a lot of the stuff I'm looking to do. I mean, he's got the clown for one. I really like clowns. Um, I, I mean, that's basically what got me hooked on his channel was that he had a male clown. And, I mean, he's getting some clutches of some babies. I mean, he was hatching out some bumblebees and stuff. So, you know, that, that was really tight. Um, but check out his channel. I mean, he's got I mean, he's got a ton of stuff. He's even got a yellow anaconda. He's got a blood python. He's got the super ball, which is the blood python mixed with the um, ball python, which is bitching. Um, excuse my language. I, I can't watch my language. I don't watch it in, in real life, you know, in person. Um, why should I change my personality for YouTube? Um, but check out his channel. I'll post a link in the description. But I have one really, really important shout out that I want to do today. Um, I really have, I really found this, I mean, I found this 13 year old kid and I think um, all you guys will be inspired. Um, Cause I mean, he's, he's got a little bit of a speech problem. I mean, but he still shows his face on YouTube and you know, he's, he's just really inspirational. I mean, that's all I can really say. Go check him out. His name is Reptiles the Skinks. I mean, once you see his channel, I mean, you're going to subscribe. I mean, there's no way that you can't subscribe to his channel. Um, he motivates me to make my videos. Um, I even told BC Barker, um, Steve from BC Barker Creations to do him on the, um, Next Rally for Reptiles, I was that inspired by his channel. I mean, he's 13 years old, he's got a speech problem, but he's still showing his face on camera. I mean, you will really be inspired by his channel, and I encourage you guys to please go check out his channel and subscribe to him. I think he's got around 20 subscribers or so, and, you know, he basically was doing reptile videos about his, his red tail skink, and unfortunately, just today, it passed away, so I feel really bad for him. I told him if I ever get any bearded dragon babies in the near future, I'm going to send one to him for free, shipping on me, just just so he can have another animal. Um, but yeah, guys, please do me the favor and check him out. I mean, not necessarily doing him the favor, but do me the favor and go check out his channel. I'm going to post the link in the description. Um, that's all I really have for you guys today. I'm going to hit you guys with another video either tonight, tomorrow, with, um, you know, Meet the Ball Python, and I'm going to show you a different snake. But until next time, guys, Anthony Granddaddy Herbs. Peace out.